Alright guys, today I have a fun video for you. Um, as you guys may know, this week is uh, Google I.O. 2014, Google's big uh, developer conference. And during that, they have announced Android L Developer Preview. So I'm going to go ahead today and show you guys how to install the developer preview on your Nexus 7 or Nexus 5. So I'll link you to everything you're going to need. Let's just kind of walk through this. This is the site that has the firmware for your devices and we're going to go ahead and click get started and it just talks about different ways to you get this running but this is the two files you're going to need so if you have the Nexus 5 you're going to download this file hammerhead blink 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 this is the um, firmware hammerhead is the code name for the Nexus 5 or if you have the Nexus 7 2013 edition you are going to download the Razer blink 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 preview Again, Razer is the code name, or technically Flow, F-O-F-L-O, is the code name for the Nexus 7 2013 edition. I already went ahead and downloaded this, so I'm not going to do it, but you're going to need this file uh, to do it at least the way I'm going to do it. There's many ways to do this, but I'm going to show you the way I'm going to do it. And you're going to download that file, and then you're going to come over here to my site, click on New Nexus 7 Flow. And you're going to download this file right here, Fastboot and ADB zip. And once you click on it, you don't have to click on anything else on this screen. Just wait, and you can see it downloaded right there. Very, very simple, okay? So once you guys have the two files you're going to need, the ADB Fastboot zip and the firmware, we'll go ahead and show you how to do this. Oh, also, you guys are going to need to have, um, let me show you really quick here. You're going to need to have 7-zip. So if you come in here and you just Google... 7-zip uh, uh, here's 7-zip.com and go ahead and free download go ahead and download 7-zip just because it's an easy way to deal with the archives of the firmware so that being said you're gonna want to have that installed I have it installed already I'm not really gonna go through that um, let's go ahead and set up the files we need how we need them so that we can run this little script all right so to do that we're going to go into downloads here and we're going to take these two files and we're going to cut them those are my adbs and my uh, firmware and we're going to put them in a uh, folder on my desktop so we're going to say new folder we're going to call this android l very good and we'll open that up and we'll paste these in there you go hopefully you guys are following this uh, it should be too hard from here alright so you need to uh, go ahead and double click this one and if it doesn't open automatically in 7-zip you know go ahead and do right click open with you know choose 7-zip and then you got it and then double click on this again and that's gonna get you a little deeper and then this file you want to extract default is fine it should extract into this folder and bam right there you've got your information all right very good then you're gonna do the same with this go ahead and just do extract there we go and you have those files now you're just gonna take these files and go copy stick them in here and paste them in here there we go beautiful all right because you need to have the you don't really need the ADB file, but you need the fastboot files for these commands to work. And then the last thing I'm going to show you right now, if you hit the flash all bat, on, and it'll flash your device completely. It'll be 100% Android L. Um, I want to keep recovery on my device, okay? So I want to keep my Twerp recovery installed. Um, I also want to be able to have my backup still so I can get right back out of Android L if I don't like it. I haven't played with it yet, just seen stuff online. So we're going to do a couple things to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up this right here. And these are all the files that gets flashed. And we're going to take this one right here and we're going to delete it. That is the recovery image. And that would put stock Android recovery on it. And I don't want to. I just want to put boot, cache, system, and user data. All right. Another thing I want to point out to you guys is this. This is only for Flow, which is the Nexus 7 2013, and you have to be on the latest bootloader. Um, but this will actually flash the latest bootloader when you do the flash all bat, because right here is your bootloader. All right, pretty cool, very simple. 
All right, so we've got everything set up now. Let's go over to my device and let me show you a couple more things we're gonna do. All right, guys, here we are on the device. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into my uh, computer. It's pretty important, you gotta get this plugged in. There we go. And um, right now, I'll just show you what I'm running on here. Right now I am running, should be four, yeah, right here, 4.4.4, .4 .4, um, KitKat, latest Android version for this device. Um, if you're running custom ROM, whatever it is you're running, it's fine. Not a big deal because this is going to do a kind of a full flash over. But I do have an Android backups that are right here on, in a Twerp. And right there, I've got a couple backups. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my computer really quickly here. And I'm going to go ahead and pull those off my device in case they get removed in this flash of Android L. So to do that, let's go ahead and check that really quick. Open up internal. There is twerp. I'm just going to copy. I'm going to paste it on my desktop. And it will take a little bit to copy over. It is a couple, uh, pretty big file, honestly, because I got two different backups in there. So just be patient while this thing copies over. All right, guys. So now that my files are copied over, you can see them right here. My little backup I got right there. That way I always have that thing if I need it, which is very nice. You can uh, back out on our device here. All right, we can go ahead and just back this window back out. And there is the, uh, all your files you got right there. All right, so everything should be set up. So to flash this over, now that we have everything set up how we want it, we gotta get your device in bootloader mode. So to do that, um, if you have ADB turned on like I do, um, you can open a command window here and type in a command and reboot your device in the bootloader. But I'm going to show you the manual way to do it. So we're just going to do it by powering off the device. We're going to go ahead and unplug the cable for a second. All right, device should power off. Once your device powers off, you want to get into bootloader mode. What you got to do is you got to hold volume down and power for about 30 seconds. It does take a little while to get into bootloader mode. So let me do that really quick here. There we go, we're in bootloader mode. Now you can scroll with your volume buttons. And we're just going to go to, well, we're actually going to plug it in really quick. There you go. It's all plugged in. And then we're going to go ahead and restart bootloader just to make sure everything's connecting correctly. And you do that with the power button, so you just saw it. All right, so everything's good now. We're ready to rock and roll. So we're gonna go ahead to the computer here and flash this file. So all you guys gotta do now, now that you have everything set how you want it, you got your Torp files backed up, everything's good to go. Just come in here right here and flash bat all and just click on it. And first thing it does is it flashes bootloader right there. So your bootloader is gonna flash and then it's gonna reboot and then it's gonna continue on. So there you go. Um, it looks like this archive does not contain any signatures and it's gonna go ahead and flash. So the boot is done, did boot, and now it's flashing system. And we're just gonna let this finish up. It is gonna take a little second and we'll kind of come back to it as soon as it's done flashing. All right, so it should be just about done here. There it is. And it's gonna go ahead and reboot the device. So on the keyboard, you can just push uh, any key or push uh, any key to exit, and the mm -hmm. script is done. So we should be good from here. Let's go ahead and watch our new boot animation. Ooh, I like it. Little dancey little balls. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, now boot up from what I've here can ta can take a little while. Um, you, you, I would give this thing a good solid 10 minutes to boot once you install um, Android L Developer Preview. So we're going to let this thing boot, and as soon as it boots up, I'll keep showing you the rest of the boot up here. Quick note while these uh, balls are bouncing, um, I'm pretty sure you do have to have an unlocked bootloader for this to flash like I just did. Um, so if you don't know how to have an unlocked bootloader on your Nexus 7 2013 edition, uh, definitely I have videos on that. So check it out, figure out how to unlock your bootloader. That's definitely going to have to do it. But you pretty much should know that stuff. If you have a custom recovery installed like I have Twerp Recovery, 
you would already have done all that and you'd been there done that kind of figured all that out so that's why I didn't really go over it too much uh, in the beginning of the video whoa there it is Android so that boot up took a good three and a half four minutes um, so it was a very long boot up for this device um, yeah it is what it is alright so that got us Android developer edition L here's a little warning about the preview system images is subject to change blank 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 go ahead read if you want I'm not worried about it um, I'm gonna actually just skip through well let me go ahead and connect to my Wi-Fi it's not even letting me skip it so let me do this really quick Here you can see some keyboard stuff alright so Wi-Fi is uh, functioning very very cool um, it looks like it's going to ask me about Google. I'm not going to do my Google stuff right this minute. Um, there we go. For now, it's all good. And setup is complete. And there is the first boot up. Now, you guys want to see uh, a full review of Android L Developer Preview. I will be doing that video next. Um, i got to play with it a little bit so I have uh, some knowledge about it so I can show you guys some of the new features in this version. Um, from here, go ahead and um, this thing should be hooked to the computer. Uh, I'm actually going to turn on developer options. Oh, no, that's different. Uh, it already says it. Connect. Connect as media device. So it is. So let me go ahead and actually just see if I can copy this back over uh, my twerp folder from my computer. Alright, so I'm going to copy this back over. Let's go to my computer. It says it's not there. Let's unplug and plug back in and see if I can get this device to show up. There it is. Alright, so we'll just go in here. Device. Yes, so everything get deleted. I'm just going to do a copy paste and get twerp back on here. This will give me my backup and now I can make a backup of the developer version and I can um, then I can switch between stock official Android, which is KitKat 4.4.4, and developer version, and now you can play around with both. So that's going to be my plan. I'm not going to go any more from here with this uh, developer ver version of Android L, the next Android version that's coming out. Like I said, I will do a full review video on that next, but this is how you're going to install it. This process works exactly the same for uh, the Nexus 5 or the Nexus 7 2013 edition. Uh, very simple. You just got to download the appropriate file for you, and I'll link you to both. So that's it, guys. Hope you guys like this. Sorry if it was a little long. Just trying to give you as much information as I can. That is how I roll. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie, out. Yeah.